Hi kids, I'm back for another semi-enlightening video here from my fortress of uh, decrepitude, ineptitude, solitude. Well, it is soli solitary because everyone else is going out, which means that I can do this without, you know, commercial interruption. Uh, and I've come today uh, by semi-popular request. Uh, if you want to know who to blame for my reappearance, take a look at the comments to my last video. Um, I think more were requested. Maybe I had a private message. I don't know. And I, the reason I'm here is to confess to something that I do that some people find odd, but I don't for whatever reason. Uh, it's just something that I do. I don't know if I've always done this. I don't know if it's uh, it's something that I've, I started doing when I got older, but I buy clothes and don't wear them. Not only do I not wear them, I don't even take the tags off of them. And I'm talking about for years at a time. Now, you remember, may remember a clothing store called uh, Sims. I was a big fan of Sims. I love Hashalom Sims. And... Sims went out of business in 2011. Now, my theory about why Sims went out of business is because they bought Filene's Basement and they had to take on debt to do that and just killed their business. They just couldn't support the debt and they got completely crapped out. Uh, and they shouldn't have bought Filene's Basement. But Sims, I loved. Sims was wonderful. You could get really nice things at Sims. Check check this out. Oh. So remember... The latest I could have bought this was 2011. This is a uh, Robert Graham shirt. And you'll see that the tag is still on it. I don't know if this is working. Oh, no, it looks like it's working. Uh, don't be confused by the, um, uh, the dry cleaner hanger. This has never been to a dry cleaner. Because I wouldn't send to the dry cleaner with a tag on it. Uh, and so this came from Sims. And let's see. Certified New Way Cleaners, Master Dry Cleaners, Westchester's Most Respected Dry Cleaner. Hmm. 110 West Post Road, White Plains, New York. So this means that this hanger is from like 2006 or 2007. Uh, and that's probably when this, uh, this shirt is from because there was a Sims up there near, uh, near White Plains right off of uh, 287. Here we have what appears to be some kind of gold, yellow, houndstooth, uh, silk pocket square. And by the packaging, I would say it came from uh, Sierra Trading Post. And this has to be, I don't even know when the hell I would have bought this. But I never used it for some reason. I have some ties that would go with it. It would probably look pretty good. Natural and gold. Hmm. Men's houndstooth pocket square. Natural and gold is right there. Ooh. So you know what it is in case you, you know, can't see it. Uh, this is a very recent addition to my collection. SpongeBob socks. These can be no more than a year old. Maybe a little over a year. Julian's a big fan of SpongeBob and quite frankly, so am I. Uh, I did not watch it uh, when it originally came on. I think I was a little too long in the tooth for uh, Nickelodeon cartoons. But since Julian has discovered it, and since he will only he won't let us watch whatever the hell we want when he's watching television, uh, I watch SpongeBob. Fortunately, I like it. Fortunately, he likes Warner Brothers cartoons, so it's not always a problem what he wants to see. I don't know when I'm going to wear these. Marlena wears her Squidward socks that I bought her, though. A few years ago, I got a some gift certificates, or I returned something to uh, Bloomingdale's, and I had some credit, so I ordered myself some of these cashmere sweaters. Now, let's see, that would be... That couldn't be later than 2016. And I have two of these filled in the plastic. I don't know when I'm planning to wear them. As we all know, 
because I'm about to tell you, then we'll all know it. Uh, Century 21 has given up the ghost. Uh, as we say in the uh, business world, it shit the bed. It just couldn't handle the pandemic and it went out. This lovely tie from Bese Beige, Max Mara. Uh, was purchased at Century 21. Now, the last time I bought ties at Century 21, I think, was around 2010 at the one in Rigo Park. It was really fantastic because we had an apartment in um, Forest Hills Gardens at uh, One Station Square, which you'll see if you, you can see from the train, you get off the train there. And uh, I would go to Rigo Park and go to the uh, Century 21 and do some... Um, uh, uh, you know, mental health shopping, therapy shopping. And then I would go to uh, Ben's Best Deli on uh, uh, Queens Boulevard and try to get some food to eat myself to death. Uh, you know, like, you know, like combining potato knishes and, and french fries with a couple of uh, corned beef sandwiches. Because you could never be too fat or too broke. Uh... These are interesting. I have a bunch of these. A bunch of these shirts that I ordered. Um, I don't know when. These, this is a size 18, so this is going to be too big for me. I mean, that's that's another big problem is a lot of these things, they were too small when I bought them, and they're too big now. I've gone from, you know, a 22 neck to a 16 and a half neck. I probably weigh 150 pounds less than I did at my highest weight. And now I have this, this beautiful shirt. I got a couple of these beautiful shirts from England uh, that I bought in 2012, 2013. I don't know. Too big. I'll look like I'm recovering from something if I wear it. Here's another shirt I bought. This I do know... Just about when I bought it, I don't know anything about this brand, but there was a shop on 6th Avenue around 40th Street that, uh, you know, had those, um, if you've been to New York City, you'll, you'll know these places. They, you know, you walk by and it's like the suits are $99 or $100. You know, you're, you're warned not to wear them in the rain because they'll fall apart. Uh, and it, uh, this shirt was probably less than... 30 bucks. But I know uh, when I was working right by there was when Julian was born, and Julian is six years old, six, around six and a half years old. So this shirt has to be at least six and a half years old. Untouched by human hands. Assuming it was not made by humans. Now this is very interesting. I don't remember. I must have gotten these from Sierra Trading Post. Uh, I don't know if you're into labels. These are, this is a uh, this is a little difficult to do. This is a uh, Marishi shoe bag. Uh, and inside are a pair of beautiful tasseled loafers constructed of wonderful peccary, which I understand is a kind of pig. And as you can see by the bottoms, they have never been worn. And I don't know when the hell I bought these. These could be from 2008. These could be from 2006. I don't know. I was doing a lot of shopping then uh, for things that I didn't need. What do I what else do I have around here? I've read, I think, all the books. Uh, there are some t-shirts over there in the closet that I just got at TJ Maxx for like, you know, five bucks a piece. And they still have the tags on them. And they probably will for at the unforeseeable future. I don't know when I'm going to get to them. But fortunately, they fit. I mean, that's really the problem. Is that now I have all these. I have all these great clothes, and they don't fit. I've, I've thrown away a ton of stuff. I think the real problem is the shirts. I throw away the the uh, trousers that don't fit because it's just insane. And I got these. You know, I got these uh, four dollar chinos at uh, from Amazon wardrobe. I think these were um, like $15 or something. 
this shirt here. This is a uh, Ralph Lauren purple label that I must have purchased at Sims for a extremely an extremely deep discount at the Sims uh, off of uh, 287. Uh, and that has to be, let's see, when did I, when did I get, uh, 2007, 2008, I wasn't shopping up there anymore. I don't think I've ever worn this out of the house. Now it fits, which is okay. I mean, to, to a certain extent, there's still, you know, there's plenty of room in the collar. If anyone wants to wear this with me, you know, you're more than welcome to hop in. I think that's about it for now. I just wanted to confess to this weird thing that I do. You know, I was trying to think of a subject for um, for a video because somebody asked me to do another video and I was trying to think of a subject and I couldn't think of one. I'm looking over there and I see that there's a pair of Puma sneakers that I purchased uh, a couple of weeks ago with Julian. I bought Julian some new boots and I saw these Pumas because my my uh, sneakers were looking kind of ratty. Uh, they're still in the box. They probably still have the stuffing in the toe. There's a pair of Sperry Topsider boat shoes over there that I don't think I've ever worn out of the house. It's just insane. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, please help me. Uh, if you can, you know, call the 800 number appearing at the bottom of the screen, 1-800-BAT-SHIT. And make a donation for my psychological care because for some reason I buy things and never wear them. I think I just uh, opened some new underwear that I bought a year and a half ago. You know, it's, I like to have a lot of underwear because that way you don't have to do laundry as frequently. Anyway, that's my theory. I don't know why I'm looking over here because, well, there's a giant mirror over there and I'm a narcissist. It's not enough that I'm, you know, videotaping myself or recording, capturing, whatever it is now, we don't tape anymore. It's not enough that I'm doing that. I have to look in a mirror to see myself as well. And quite frankly, I look better in the mirror than I do on screen. Maybe I should photograph the mirror. Anyway, that's it for today, kids. And uh, don't do this. It's really stupid. Oh, and forgive the Dutch angle. For some reason, the, the camera is shifted and this is not the layer of a villain on the Batman TV show. I just want to be clear about that. I'm not King Tut or, uh, you know, played by Victor De Bono. And uh, I've run out of things to say. I think I'm going to go do something else now that I have the house to myself. So, until next time, or until I die, I'm Adam. Bye-bye. <laughs>